Hi friends, it's Julia. I'm here to share a layout that I created uh, for with my January 2017 Counterfeit Kit Challenge Kit. Um, and I'm using a sketch to inspire me and it, 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 it is from Stuck Sketches uh, January 15th um, sketch. And the designer who inspired me was um, Kelly Brown. Anyway, so I pulled this um, sheet of green squiggly paper, if you will, uh, to use, and uh, it wasn't long enough and because I had cut another piece of it off. So I needed an extra piece of paper to go along the bottom of it. Well, I had this scrap of the bright green. <laughs> you can see me there. I'm counting out uh, 12 squares to make uh, full 12 inches, and I'm going through uh, adding adhesive to the backs where I'm going to put this paper together and just using the grid lines of my mat to put it together. There's a frustration. Get everything all lined out and then boom, <laughs> you knock it offline. So there you go. There's my, um, there's my background paper. And I'm just taking the little piece that I cut off at a diagonal um, stripe. I'm gonna put it along the top. And of course I try and do it from the bottom end to put it along the top and line it up and, and that never works for me. So what I have to do is turn it around because I'm realizing, oh, that's not working. So there. <clears throat> These are uh, papers from my January Counterfeit Kit Challenge Kit and they're basic gray. Um, and they're really bright, bold green colors, mostly green colors. There's some blue and turquoise in them as well. And this layout, I'm using this washi tape for the first time. I've not used it in the kit before. I've not used it on anything before. <clears throat> and it's super duper cute. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I'm looking to see what I want to put there, um, what other what side of that other scrap that I want to use, if I want to use the bright green side or if I want to use the blue side, uh, the blue and the green and the cream side. And I decide I want to use that, but I feel like I need something to back the photos a little bit more. So I'm looking around, I find this uh, pattern paper here that I haven't cut into and I'm thinking, well, maybe. Then I'm like, okay, I'll use it. And so I just uh, put the pictures down on there and cut them out for a very small border. I don't need a lot on it. That's just enough to make it stand apart from the background paper. So I have that on. And I'm going to mount those photos down. The photos of are myself and my uh, granddaughter, youngest granddaughter, and then my husband. Um, we had been playing, and it was May of last year, I believe. Is that what the sticker says? <laughs> I have the date still on there um, before I stamp it down. That's kind of how I separate them when I want to scrapbook them. I just put the date on them. And so... I'm going to line it up with that angle, but I need to leave room for my title. So it's like, okay, how much room do I need to leave for my title? And I think, oh, I better leave a little extra room. Uh, and then I think, no, it's good. I changed my mind. <laughs> anyway, tell you about the photos. My son had was in his room or they had been out shopping or something. Anyway, they came in. And so my husband and granddaughter and I were sitting in the living room in our chairs. Mine is a big rocker recliner, and uh, I was rocking her for her nap during the daytime. And my husband was sitting in his chair, and I ended up rocking myself to sleep as well as her. And um, my husband, he's a pretty big napper. He just kind of leaned over in his chair and took a little nap on the arm of his chair. <laughs> And he has a big ottoman that sits in front of his chair. Anyway, um, the sketch was really a lovely one. It was designed, I think, by Laura Whitaker. 
She's a pretty school, pretty cool scrapbooker. I like her style a lot. Sometimes watching her videos can be a bit irritating because she can be a bit fussy. <laughs> but then I watch mine and I think, oh, I'm being so fussy with something. So I get it. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm just tucking some scrap pieces in behind there. And this is the one layout where I used my uh, border punch. That one is my favorite. It's from Stampin' Up. And I put it in this kit to use it. And that is the only time I used it on that little scrap of paper. So I have a tag there. Um, I don't want to lift the everything up and, and tuck it up under there. So I'm just going to tuck a little bit down. And you can see I have some blue twine already in it. And just stuff it in there. And I'm determined, I'm trying to use those uh, wood veneer flowers with this kit. I love those flowers. So I'm just kind of looking around to see what I'm going to use and where I'm going to use it. I've got a flare that I put down over there. <laughs> Which way does the leaf go? Hmm. What else can I do with this? All right. So I've got the flower where I want to have it. And then I'm going through and I'm looking at other embellishments that I have um, that might coordinate or go along and I want to put that house die cut down in the corner and that's where um, Kelly Brown over at Stuck Sketches really inspired me because her layout uh, followed along with the same sketch but it had a big element down in that area and so that inspired me to use that big piece of chipboard. You can see I pulled up the flare and I put down that sticker and then I'm just looking through to see um, what other phrases or sentiments I can use on there. Found that little tab that says dream. Love that. It's perfect. And it brings that um, a little bit of that red up. Not a lot of it, but it does bring it up from her shirt. So I'm just looking around to see what am I going to use? What do I have left? And I think maybe I'll put that there and then I'm like, no, I think I like this whole border strip and I'll put it along here, along the washi tape. And you know, when you have a layout like this, it never goes all the way across when you do something diagonal like that. You have to split it up just a little bit. So that's what I did there. Cut that border a little bit, stretched it out. And uh, just added a little glue behind the um, chipboard piece. Had to add a glue dot in because the adhesive on the back of that sticker was not strong enough to stick to each other. Still trying to get that flare in there. And then I put it back in the bin. It's just not going to work for this layout. So I have Dream a Little Dream is my title and I use my cork alphabet. And so I think I need to um, flag the ends. Is that what you call that? Notch the ends, flag the ends. And so then I try that. I do like to put my alphabets on the edge of, of um, my rulers just to try that, try out titles and that kind of thing. And there I need to cut a little bit more off. So I just move it up a little bit and to match, I line the edges up again. And then line that up there and add that wood veneer. Um, I, I do like... With adhesive alphabets, I like to line up 
my titles on the edge of my rulers and then lay them down wherever I want them. And so I've done that forever. Um, and I know there's several other scrapbookers that do that. They've learned over the years that, that it just suits their style. So I take this piece of uh, cork doily and I try and cut it with my trimmer. Don't know what I was thinking, but it kind of shredded a little bit. Um, which on this piece is not going to matter so much because it's going under the edge of the pattern paper at the top. And of course, rather than move it over like any smart person would do, I leave it showing just enough where one of the broke pieces <laughs> is going to be exposed. And I could have just moved it over a little bit more to the right and it would have nobody would have ever known. Um, but my neurotic self, hear me, here I am being fussy. Um, <laughs> I decided I had to get this little piece put back in there and I work at it for a little while. Um, it was in such a small space and everything's glued down that I couldn't get my big fat fingers in there to get it down. So I had to use my tweezers. And so then it was just like, okay. <laughs> I was just about to the point where I was like, oh, I'm just going to throw this out. Not going to mess with it anymore. But I finally got it. And now you, it's not obvious. And so I think I'm going to put that... Um, hard up there. Well, I know I'm going to put the heart. It's just a matter of placement. I like that better because it's that brighter pop of red um, that's in Ellie's shirt. Um, and I've also got it on a couple of spots. Um, I've got the red on either side of the photos on the left and the right. And then um, along that blue border strip as well as the door to the little house. And now it just brings that red up above the layout. Debating on my stamps. I'm a little disappointed that I only used one stamp this time um, or stamped on one layout this time. I wish I had stamped more and that's one of my goals this year is to use my stamps more. My poor fine line bottle, it's on my list of things to be replaced. Um, I pulled the needle completely out. The top needle got stuck into um, the bottom, um, the part that the tunnel, um, the needle portion that, that the glue came through got clogged and the other the, the pin part of it that stuck down into that needle um, to keep it open, yeah, it got stuck. Yeah, it got glued together. And I tried to pull them apart, and I basically just pulled the metal uh, needle out of the um, bottle. So I need to replace that. You can see here I'm just adding some enamel dots. I'm hoping to get through that whole package of enamel dots before the end of this kit. That would be very nice if I could do that. That would be one less thing to go back into my stash and one more thing into my scrapbooks. But even if I don't, that's okay too. Still working at it. I have probably four clusters now. The one at the top the one there with the tag and the flower, um, the one with the wording to the right of the photo, and then the one uh, at the bottom with um, where the chipboard house is. And so there I'm just smashing down the brad and I'm going to put some tape and that's tape that I've pulled out, some washi tape that I've pulled out that I know I'm not going to use in my scrapbooks or in my planner. Um, and it's one that I just need to use up and so I leave it sitting on my desk to be used for this kind of thing on the backs of layouts to tape over brands or where I've cut down papers or whatever. Here I decide I'm going to add a little bit of mist to the top and so uh, I just turn my sticker sheets over and start dripping the mist on.
and I just grab a paper towel because on the top of the chipboard there's like almost a very smooth almost plasticky feel to the top of it and so the um, enamel is just sitting there and or not the enamel the um, color mist is just sitting there so I just wiped it off of the little house chipboard house and also off the washi tape and I glue down the strings the twine on my um, tag there anyway that's it here are the close-up shots thanks everybody for sticking around till the end of my video I sure appreciate you being here I would love it if you hit the like button as well as the subscribe button thanks everyone and see you on the next video have a blessed day.